So now we have the chain rule for exponential functions. So this is how we have more than just e to the x. When we go to take the derivative, we're going to take the derivative of the power times e to the original power. So if we use that here, derivative is going to be y prime. And we're going to start with the derivative of the power. So derivative of x cubed, we're going to bring that down. We're going to get 3x squared. Derivative of negative 4x is negative 4. That's our mini rule. It's the whole derivative of the power. So it needs parentheses since it's more than one term. Times e to the original power. Just basically you copy down that original function. If we do that again with this next one. All we're doing is taking the derivative of the power first, putting it in parentheses so that we multiply it by the original function. You copy down what you started with. So we're going to call it f prime of x. Derivative of x to the ninth is 9x to the eighth. Derivative of negative 10x is negative 10. Put parentheses on it because it's the whole entire derivative of the power times e to the x to the ninth minus 10x. Copy down the original function. So just like the derivative of e to the x is e to the x, it has the answer um, is the same as the question. These answers with e also have the question as part of the answer. So you take the derivative of the power and then you copy down the original problem. Derivative of the power, copy down the original problem. e to the original power. Now let's change bases. So if we don't have base e, what's the derivative going to be? So in general, if we have a base a to the x, a is going to have to be a positive number or bigger than zero, just a different exponential function though. The derivative of it is going to be ln of your base times your base to the original power. And the reason why we don't do that with e to the x, if we just did ln of our base is e times e to the x, we don't do that because ln of e equals 1. So we just wasted some time writing 1 times e to the x. So you could use it with base e, but we usually don't because ln of e is just 1. So you'd have 1 times e to the x, so the derivative of e to the x is just e to the x. Anything else though, like this 7 to the x, we're going to do ln of our base times our base to the original power. Derivatives have a lot to memorize, but at least they are not a bunch of steps and having to solve for x. It's mostly just making some flashcards or doing some practice until you pick up which rule you use when. This is one for h of x that's tough to recognize. So first of all, we have 3 to the x. x is up in the exponent. So I'm going to do ln of 3 times 3 to the x. And now I'm back to having a number in the exponent. I have x to the 3. So now I can bring down that power. Derivative of x to the 3 is going to be 3x to the 3 minus 1 is 2. Bring down the power, subtract 1 for the new power. And then lastly, we have 3. It's a constant. So the derivative of a constant is going to be 0. So I'm labeling all these constants at first. You definitely don't have to. I'm just making sure you know that we're not skipping it or anything. We're just recognizing it's a constant, and that's why we don't write a derivative. Next rule is if we combined this rule here with this rule here. We have something more than x in the power, so our first part is going to be taking the derivative of that power. So derivative of 8 to the x squared, take the derivative of the power, 2x, and then it looks like this rule, ln of your base, base to your original power. So you take the derivative of the power, derivative of x squared was 2x, ln of your base, and then your base to the original power. You copy down the original function again. Kind of looks like rule 6 and 7 are combined. If we do that again with this f of x, we're going to call it f prime of x for the derivative. We're going to take the derivative of the power first, just like we did with rule 6. We took the derivative of the power before we got started. So derivative, we're going to bring down the 4. 2 times 4 is 8, x to the 3. Derivative of negative 9x is negative 9. Derivative of 1 is 0. So there's my whole derivative of the power. It's more than one term, so it needs parentheses. Then ln of your base, and then you get to copy down the original function and get credit for it. So 
your base to that original power. We had 5 to the 2x to the 4th minus 9x plus 1. So very similar. If it's base e, all you have to do is the derivative of your power times e to the original power. This has one extra piece. Derivative of the power, original base to the original power, but you have one extra piece. You need ln of your base in there. We don't do that with base e because ln of e just equals 1. And we normally don't write multiplying by 1 because it doesn't change anything. So if x is up in the exponent, take the derivative of the power, ln of your base, base to the original power. Last rules are natural log rules. So derivative of the natural log of x works out to always be 1 over x. Just another rule to memorize, add into this. So if we use it again, the derivative of the natural log of x is always 1 over x minus the derivative of e to the x was just e to the x. Okay. Last rule of them all is if you have ln of a function, not just ln of x, but maybe ln of x squared plus 4. What you'll do is make a fraction. It's going to be the derivative of the inside over the original inside. And that's actually where this rule came from. If you cover up the ln, think about what was inside. It's a 1x. The derivative of 1x is 1 over the original inside is x. That's where this rule comes from. You can either memorize that it's 1 over x, or you can do the derivative over the original. So you basically get to cover up the ln. You don't have to think about it. It just tells you what your rule is. So this next one, y prime, if we cover up the ln, I'm going to think about the derivative of the inside over the original inside. So the derivative of the inside, derivative of x to the fifth is going to be 5x to the fourth. Derivative of 2 is 0. So we did the derivative over the original inside, and we are done. If we do that one last time, feel free to pause the video if you think you've got this. I'm going to write the derivative of the inside over the original inside. And at least go for partial credit and copy down that original inside. But I basically get to cover up the ln and think about the derivative of 15x is always 15. That's our mini rule. Derivative of 3 pi is a constant, so that's going to have a derivative of 0. So our derivative of the inside is 15 over the original inside is 15x plus 3 pi. Feel free to watch this video a couple times, take notes over and over, um, make yourself some flashcards. But if you know these 10 rules going into any calculus course, you are going to be in very good shape for a successful semester.